Moscow Art of Sports here with Scott Coker on the eve of uh, possibly the biggest Bellator uh, of all time. And would you agree with that? I think it's going to be right up there. I think that uh, the hype that this fight has created has created a lot of awareness for Bellator, and it's great for the brand. And it gets to showcase, you know, the two legends, but also, you know, some of our best fighters in the league. So we're excited about it. It's going to be great. Hey, um, how much easier does uh, Chael make the, the promotion? Just I mean, he, he becomes the promoter, really. <laughs> I just sit back and just relax and not true, not, not but you know, it's like he, he has, he's so articulate with his words and he's, he just has, you know, so much charisma and, and uh, he's got that, I call it the wrestling dialogue down. So he's having a good time. I mean, he's, he's doing a good job. Do you think the backstory of the, the wrestling match do you feel like that's a, a, a big mental thing for, for both of them, or do you think it was so long ago it really doesn't matter? I think for Chael, it was just another match. I think for Tito, it was a, it was a big deal. Right. You could tell when they shook hands after that match, and Tito, he didn't really shake his hand. <laughs> so nothing's changed, right? It's just yeah. 20 years later, here we go. It's going to yeah. be a, an interesting matchup. I mean, um, Tito looks in great shape. Chael looks in good shape. Uh, I think that... Um, it, 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 to me, it's going to be, you know, I think I think endurance is going to play a key factor in this thing, and and, uh, and it might go, it might go all three rounds. You know, this could be the fight that goes to the decision. You got Daily Ward, yeah, uh, that's great. Uh, I mean. Kato and, and uh, Halle Gracie, which I'm really looking forward to seeing fight. I mean, that's that's going to be interesting because, you know, he's the kind of guy. He's a very spiritual guy, kind of mellow, but. Yeah. You know, once you get you on the ground, man, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a good <laughs> night. So it's going to be interesting. Striker, it's going to be the grappler versus the uh, little puncher. What if you had to tell fans is kind of the kind of underlying like fight of the night? This is this is the one for sure to watch. Obviously, the main event, but kind of what, what's like the little the, the sleeper match of the night? I mean, I think that you know. There's so many great fights on this card, but you got to watch the main event because that's going to be huge. I mean, people are going to really, I think, enjoy that fight and watching two legends. But, you know, these guys are still competitive at, at their age. And, and uh, you know, to see Tito's last fight, come on, you got to watch that. But the fight that I'm really forward to, in addition to that one, is the Daily Ward fight mm -hmm. because that's going to be a fight where you you don't blink if you blink you might miss the fight yeah, yeah. someone's gonna get knocked out don't go to the restroom during that one yeah someone's gonna get knocked out for sure <laughs> right. that's my opinion uh, I want to ask you about uh, Mitrion versus uh, Fedor yeah. I, I was asking Matt yesterday just if he really did sign the contract without knowing the name was that kind of yeah. a, was that your idea what, what yeah what, like, I said you know like in today's age you know all the reports are trying to get the scoop, right? Yeah. <laughs> we can't have this thing leak, you know. We, we no one knew, even knew Fedor was here, here in the building, yeah. and uh, we flew into San Francisco, kept him up there so he wouldn't be down. And, <laughs> and so we kind of kept this, we kind of kept a good secret, which is very hard to do in today's, yeah. you know, space. So um, part of that was Matt said, "Hey, Matt, you just got, you know, he, he had a carve out like if he fought Fedor, what the deal would be." So he he, he knew that um, that uh, he was protected in that sense. So you know, he said, "Hey, I'll get it on. Let's do it." That was one of the biggest uh, free agent signings, obviously, having Fedor. Was that difficult, kind of getting him on board? Uh, it took about four months. It wasn't easy, but uh, again, it just came down to our relationship as being friends. We sat down, and, and at the end of the day, we got two lawyers in the room, and, and they started, you know, messing everything up. <laughs> and then, you know, Fedor and I got on the phone, and we worked it out. So. Well, what are what are the goals for 2017 for Bellator? I mean, I think we're going to continue to grow uh, with our free agency and uh, and continue signing more fighters. You'll be hearing about some of those soon, and keep growing internationally. Keep signing the biggest fights, the best fighters in the world, because you know we, we're we're going to do some hardcore fights that the fans really want to see, and then we're also going to do some fun fights. Like to me, the Legends fights, was, this would be a great event. I mean, these guys are going to, you know, I think we'll we'll uh, have a lot of eyeballs that maybe wouldn't tune in to just a hardcore MMA fight. Yeah. So to me, I mean, the vision's always been to cast a little bit bigger net than just the hardcore fans. And I think we, I think with this fight, we're going to accomplish that. Tell us about the sweatshirt right here, man. Got all Not only the sweatshirt, stuff. come on now. Bam. Hey, that's nice stuff right come there. Come on now. <laughs> come on, he's the greatest of all time, man. And, uh, you know, it's like when I grew up, I was watching Muhammad Ali, and, and, and it's his birthday month, so we had to celebrate it for the month. Of course, definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thank Scott. You, Appreciate, Appreciate your time, man. Thanks, Thanks for, for putting it on the show. Thank you. Thank you.